It was so nice to see you from close quarters. <laughs> As I gave this prashad to you, and one by one came here, I could see very clearly you are all seekers of the same truth that I am seeking, that we are co-travelers. We are traveling together. Isn't it wonderful to have somebody to travel with you when somebody says, I'll be your co-traveler? It's great. On this path, we do not travel alone. Many spiritual traditions make us search for the truth within ourselves alone because it is something interior to us, inside. On this path, as taught by great master Adur Maharaj Baba Savan Singh, we do not travel alone. We travel with our master. Big thing. And it's only the beginning of the journey where we don't feel we are with somebody just trying to go within ourselves. It is like a friend waiting for us at the airport with his two tickets in hand. He says, come to the airport, I've got the tickets and we'll fly home. We are struggling to go to the airport. Our struggle is only to the airport, not the big flight home. But once we are there, it's such a joyous journey, joyous travel to our true home. And I'm so happy to share this information with you and to tell you this is not a hypothetical model to show what our true spiritual home is. This is something that can be practiced and can be actually realized by anyone who has that intense seeking to go to a true home. I'm very happy to see all of you at different stages of your seeking and how you're all full of love and devotion. Many of you are already meditating. Some will start meditating now or later. Please don't forget the very cardinal principle that meditation without love and devotion will not work. It's a mechanical exercise. Therefore, right from the beginning, when you start meditation, do it with intense love and devotion. When you have a master in your life who gives you unconditional love, and the more you associate with that master, the more you discover how unconditional that love is, how non-judgmental it is. Perfect living masters never judge us at all. Their love flows continuously. They are not here to, to see if we are good or bad. They know all good and bad is being made up by our mind. They know our soul is trapped in this good and bad, in this world of duality. They come to take us back home with pure love. And when you experience that love, then you realize this is something very different we have experienced before. And that love is the one that will pull us. Why do I use two words, love and devotion? Because love comes to us. Pure love flows from a master to us. And when we have a response to it, it's called devotion. We become devotees automatically when that kind of love is experienced by us. And that is why I would suggest meditate with intense love and devotion. What will take you to your true home will be love and devotion and not the practice of mechanical meditation, not the practice of mental contemplation. These are all games that we will leave back here. This is not our true home, nor is the home of a universal mind our true home. We have to leave this behind. The soul, the principle of life, the principle of consciousness, which alone makes us alive, that lies beyond the mind. It is that principle of life Consciousness that makes the mind alive, that makes the senses alive, that makes the body alive. And therefore, if we forget that part, we can get into a ritual. Religion has taught us rituals. 
ceremonies, external things. Let us get over them and go to the teachings of the founders of religions, who all said, the truth lies within you. Go within and find the truth. I'm very happy to spend these two days with you. It is a delight for me. It's such a beautiful place, beautiful weather. We had a very nice time. And I thank all of you. And I want to specially thank the organizers of these events. And I want you to join me in thanking these organizers for such a good job done. Our two-day program ends here. And we, I wish you all very safe journeys back to your homes. And don't forget what we learned here. Don't forget that you got something very, very special today. The Parshad, blessed by great master, Azur Maharaj Baba Sawan Singh. So please take little bit at a time so you can remember this event longer. And don't forget the principle of dilution that it can be added on and made more if you don't get a chance to get more. Thank you very much for your very patient listening to me for these two days. God bless you.